These are whole variety avocados. Kind of a different looking avocado, isn't it? It's larger than what you're used to seeing. It's also pear shaped and it's smooth and shiny green. Here at Sleepy Lizard Avocado Farm, we grow about a dozen different varieties of avocado. And right now we're in the fall, which means we have these beautiful choquettes, Monroe, and the hall, which I will prepare for you today. Weighing in, it's somewhere between a pound and a half and two pounds. The hall is one of our smaller varieties. In addition to being a beautiful fruit, there's two things I really love about the hall. The first is the flavor. It's lower in oil content than the common Haas variety you see at the supermarket. And when I cut this open, you'll see that the flesh is actually a little bit dry. The other thing I love about the hall is its shape allows me to serve avocado in thinly sliced rings and discs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Normally, when we cut an avocado open, we, we cut it open from like the stem to the butt, right? We kind of open it up laterally like this. But the hall allows me to make a cut here, about a third of the way up. I cut in until I feel the seed. I go around. And then when I remove the seed, look at the size of that seed. You see here how we can get rings. Then I'm able to take the fruit like this and cut nice little quarter inch rings. Now I leave the, I leave the skin on and just carefully cut my rings. It takes a little bit of work. There's one ring. And then as you, as you get up toward the neck, the void from the seed becomes less and less. And your cut goes from rings to discs, little wheels. Now I mentioned that the flesh of the hall avocado is about 40% less in oil content than the common Haas variety you get at the supermarket. And you could see that here if you look at it, right? You could see it's actually dry. Like when I, run my, when I run my finger across the bottom here, there's dryness. Now there's little spots that have a little bit of oil in them, like this right here. If I run my finger across here, there's a little bit of oil that gets on my finger. But there's actually like dry spots. Yeah, like right there is a nice dry spot. And because of this dryness, the fruit's able to hold its shape. All right, so once I have my rings and discs cut, I go around and carefully remove the skin. And that's another nice thing about the hall variety. Look at how easy this skin comes right off. Okay, so what's the big deal? We can take this beautifully shaped avocado and serve it in rings and discs. Well, the first thing is the, the novelty of it, right? Most people, eat their avocado in the form of guacamole. They don't even eat it as a standalone food, right? They, they mix it up and they, they use it as a dip or a spread. But look at this. You can serve such a pretty plate at a party or a dinner. One of the things you could do with it is make a very beautiful side accompaniment. Maybe you put a little bit of salad here, just drizzle some oil, a little bit of salt, your guest is going to sit down to this and they're going to say, wow, what, is that avocado? And you, you'll be like, yeah, that's an avocado. And the little discs go great on sandwiches or burgers. Look at that. I just topped this bacon burger with a little avocado disc. And look at how pretty that is on there. And I've now served up a very interesting and delicious avocado themed meal. But before we finish up here, I want to talk about the taste because the whole avocado is one of the varieties that you can enjoy standalone as a snack. Now I have a little piece of a disc here. I didn't put any salt or any oil or pepper or anything on it at all. Now I'm slicing it. And I want to show you in the camera here just how firm, just how firm the flesh is of this variety of fruit. I'm giving this a good squeeze. I'm going to try to like pinch it. Look at that. See, it doesn't really want to mush like a, like a Hass avocado would, right? Mm. And just that little bit I, I ate off my thumb is so good. My mouth is so full of flavor right now. I'm going to eat the rest of this disc. Mm. There's actual texture. I could feel my teeth chewing through it. 
It's not crunchy like celery or an apple or anything like that. I'd say it has the consistency of a potato that's not quite cooked all the way through. Like if you've ever boiled a potato and maybe took them off the, off the stove a little too early, you know, there's just that, still that little bit that it's able to retain its, its shape and a little bit of like a starchiness. Oh, so good, so delicious. I was eating one one time with my wife and I was like, how do you like it? She's like, oh my God, I love it. And I almost didn't say it because I, I, I thought she was going to think I was crazy. But I said, I said, you know, the flavor, it reminds me a little bit of a scrambled egg. And she said, oh my God, I'm so glad you said that because I was thinking the same thing. Of the dozen or so varieties of avocado we grow, the Hall offers the most unique flavor experience. Usually when I talk about avocado varieties, I take a few bites and I kind of leave them alone. But this one, I just want to keep eating it. And again, look at how firm the flesh is. You know, I'm, I'm going to kind of bend this till it breaks, till it finally like pops. Look at how much bend that gets into it. You see that? It's a very firm flesh and it's delicious. Mmm. Oh, it is so good. For avocado toast, I will sometimes slice them really thinner. Like maybe, th maybe I'd get three slices out of this cross section. And instead of spreading the avocado onto my toast, I just layer it like if you were putting slices of cheese. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of oil if you like it. And it gives a very unique twist to avocado toast. But avocado toast is just a snack. I've got a full meal in front of me here with this for dessert, sugar cane. One of our subscribers brought his family to the farm today and he brought me this sugar cane because he knows I love to eat it. And as we sat on the back porch talking about tropical fruit and avocados and planting trees like we always do when he visits, he took out a big old knife and he was preparing this, this sugar cane for me. And he showed me the technique, he's from Jamaica, he showed me the technique they use back home. And we made a big old pile for my wife and son and I to enjoy. And if you want to try this sugar cane, there's not much I could do to help you because I don't grow it. But if you want to try the Hall or any of the other varieties of avocado we grow here at Sleepy Lizard, go to guacfarm.com, G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. At guacfarm.com, we sell eight pound boxes of avocados. But the great thing about the months of November and December is I still have choquettes on the tree because we haven't picked them all off yet. The Monroes are just coming into season and the Hall are just coming into season. So it's the time of year I'm able to put a blend into the box. We're able to put some Hall, Choquette, and Monroe all at the same time so you guys get to try different varieties. And for me it's a lot of fun because I was a big Tetris player when I was a teenager. So I get to stuff the boxes and the nice thing about the Hall variety is that a lot of times it allows me, because of its shape, I can kind of put like one extra avocado in. So even though people are buying an eight pound box, sometimes they're nine, 10, even 10 and a half pounds worth because I can stuff that one piece of extra fruit in there. Now me, I got an avocado bacon burger to eat. I'm gonna go in the house and do that. While I do that, you go to guacfarm.com and I will see you on the next video.